to wait. I hope you're well. I'm now live and I don't know if you've noticed but Facebook have updated the live producer so there's several more little steps involved. I hope it's going to work slightly better than it has been over the past few months since they changed it but we will give it a go. It's Wellness Wednesday and I hope you're well where you are. I'm having one of those weeks where all my worlds collide. Um, my professional world, my writing world, my volunteer world, my solo parenting world, um, and um, a fairly serious plumbing issue in my home. So many um, things sent to challenge us and my friend Maurice Harvey Hall has an expression which says, um, I wonder what will be placed upon my path today to bring me to a greater understanding of myself and others. So this week I'm reminding myself of what's bringing me to a greater understanding of myself and others every time i have confronted with a new and interesting challenge or, um, or um, demand on my time. Um, my husband's been away for two weeks, he's got three more weeks to go uh, and we have been having um, a nice time, the girls and I doing lots of different and fun stuff and having some new experiences which they haven't had before to keep it, um, to keep the um, reality of daddy not being here less upsetting for them. So. Um, it's going well but then today was one of those mornings where it was quite screamy uh, and there's the usual drama with hair and clothes and socks and shoes and then uh, daddy called and then they fighting over the telephone who gets to talk to daddy so there was quite three upset girls myself included in the three um, that got managed to get into the car and drive to school and I was quite upset and annoyed uh, and frustrated and um, it was funny because last night the elder one had said to me um, when she was doing something a little bit on the verge of naughty um, I said to her please don't do that and she said mummy I'm trying to be good <laughs> and my heart broke but inside I said to myself yes I'm trying to be good too <laughs> so um, we're all trying to be good. So as we were driving to school, um, I couldn't really talk much and they weren't talking much either. We were all just sitting there in our own silent world. And then the little one started chatting. And then I said to myself, I forgive them. I forgive myself. And I said it to myself three times. I forgive them. I forgive myself. I forgive them. I forgive myself. And after I've kind of gone through that little mantra of forgiving them and forgiving myself, I felt uh, much better. Um, and um, we had then a relatively pleasant experience. Um, and as I was driving home from that, I had to be home for a conference call with 10 people in Brazil starting at 9 a.m. So I thought, right, I don't know about you, but when your children are screaming, you, you have not just an emotional response but you have a physiological response in your body so your nervous system goes on overdrive your heart rate increases and you can feel yourself um, um, what's the word you just really feel it in your body what I needed to do and wanted to do was to switch off my nervous response or the amygdala hijack that I was feeling and to kind of get back to a neutral place so I left the school and I turned on my favorite meditative song and did lots of deep belly breathing all the way home to calm my nervous system which was a good thing because the, the leak that I have found in my home this week has turned into a much much bigger problem and this morning I've discovered that lots of carpet is wet so rather than have coffee and breakfast and get ready with my phone call with Brazil I was having to um, phone the plumber, put down towels to mop up water and to generally try and figure out what's my next move <laughs> with that disaster and then jump on the call with people in Brazil who'd stayed up late at night to talk to me. So um, I realised that toddlers and time zones um, are not in tune with each other and toddlers don't understand about 
daddy being in a different time zone mummy working in lots of different time zones and that um it's up to me to manage um everybody's expectations including my own but this idea of transition meditations throughout the day is really helpful because then you can do the school drop off transition meditation into working mum mode then transition meditation into your next phase of your day and keep going and it's just really just going within centering yourself breathing deeply noticing how you're feeling what you're thinking and then um, choosing the mindset with which you want to go forward because I think a lot of time what happens is that we have a very stressful morning and we're rushed and we're hurried and our nervous response has kicked in but then we carry that through our day with us and what I'm very conscious of is not carrying that through um, my day with me because I want to um, calm down my central nervous system to be healthy to make good decisions and to not allow that heightened physiological response to stay with me all throughout the day which is um, ultimately not good for my health so in saying all of that um, that's kind of why my worlds have all collided we've got the plumbing world we've got the working world the solo parenting world and all of the worlds always collide at once and this week is my volunteer world as well so i have several of my volunteer commitments come up in this week of the month each month um, and i still want to meet those obligations um, as well as i've been invited to do some really cool events for um promoting my book this week so on oh on thursday night um Mo and Me, which is a beautiful shop in Adalia, has is having their relaunch. They've moved to a much bigger, super beautiful shop um, in the precinct in Adalia, and they have been amazing supporters for both my books, The Koala Who Lost His Heart and Broken to Unbreakable. So they're having their reopening um, event on Thursday night, which I'm um, planning to attend, uh, which will be lovely, and I'm very grateful to them for all of their support. On Saturday, I will be at the, um, what's it called? Townsville's Biggest Barbecue. <laughs> it's called um, the bar Barbecue Battle, Townsville Barbecue Battle, uh, which is at the Strand Park. Uh, and I'll be there with Mentally Healthy City Townsville, um, volunteering, giving out information. And then on Sunday, I'm a guest speaker um, for the Warrior Project, which is having an afternoon tea at the Fish Inn in Townsville, to raise awareness for World Refugee Day. And the wonderful Estelle will be relaunching her new single. Um, I'll be guest speaker and I'll be there to um, you know, share some work as well. So that will be really cool. So that's three really exciting things to look forward to. And um, I'm hoping that in the meantime, my bathroom and my plumbing leak and my carpets will be repaired um, in the background. <laughs> Um, wherever you are I hope you're having a great week if your worlds are colliding I'm sending you my love and support I know it's not easy to keep everything moving and juggling and clean and tidy and well fed and well rested and everything like that I know only too well so I'm sending you my support and hoping you are taking care of yourself I'm going for a run at lunchtime today that's my reward for um, all of my hard work today. So take care of yourself and I will see you again real soon. Bye.